Hello everyone, I've taken my hair out of its low ponytail so it's a little bit stiff and it's wash day. You can see these really damaged pieces but today I've decided to attempt a wash and go. So I'm starting on freshly washed hair, shampooed and deep conditioned. I've split it in half and I'm just putting a shower cap over one half of my head just to keep that moisture in because high porosity hair is real. So I'm just splitting it again into quartz. I'm using Curls Blueberry Bliss Reparative Leave-In Conditioner and applying it to that back section. Again, this is just to impart moisture, but also the superb repairing ingredients. I'm splitting it into more manageable size sections, going in with Kentu's Moisturizing Curl Activator Cream. This is going to really activate those curls and start to define my hair. A little bit goes a long way. Just smoothing that through as normal and then I'm going in with pure avocado oil just to lock in all of that moisture just because again high porosity hair, my hair needs it. Now to really clump and define my coils I'm using Eco Styler Gels Black Castor and Flaxseed Oil Gel. I'm starting at the roots and then I'm applying bits throughout my hair and smoothing that through using the prayer hands method and then also raking it through. Sadly, you can really start to see the damage. Then going in with the Curl Control Styling Puree by Crown Pride Naturals. This is a little bit more watery. It really helps with the shingling method and pulling apart those clumped coils. On those damaged pieces, I like to scrunch my hair just to really encourage it to wave a little bit. Then I repeat the process, so adding the Curl Activator Cream followed by some avocado oil to seal it in. Then a generous amount of Eco Styler Gel starting at the roots, applying a bit more to the middle section of my hair and then again at the ends before using the prayer hands method to really smooth and clump and define my coils. Then going in with Crown Pride Naturals Curl Control Gel. This really just helps to ensure that all of my coils are coated and defined. Then I start to scrunch the damaged pieces just to encourage it to be a bit more uniform. Now at the front of my hair, just applying some leave-in conditioner just to make sure it's super moisturized since damaged hair really is lacking in moisture. After working that through, I split the section into more workable size sections and apply the curl activating cream. This is going to be the starting process to really defining my curls and also adding more moisture. I seal it in with some avocado oil and go in with the Eco Styler Gel, making sure to start at my roots. Again, I scrunch up those damaged pieces, but since this little section of my hair is the most damaged, I will probably add a perm rod later on. Having added the second gel, I'm just shingling my way through to make sure all of the curls are defined and are coated. And then of course, just scrunching my way through. One section is done, we're just gonna move on to the next side and I do have to spray it down with some water because it has managed to dry out a little bit. You'll see that this section of my hair is just a little bit more cooperative and a little bit more coily. Again, making sure I'm applying that from the roots and then I'll apply it a bit to the middle and the ends before smoothing it through using the prayer hands method and raking it through as well. This just helps to minimize the frizz and make it last longer. That's why I make sure I apply it from the roots. When I get to the front of my hair, it's a lot of focus on the shingling 
since this is the front you know it's going to be the part that people see the most and with the damage and everything I want to make sure I really work my way through carefully finger coil if I need to it also just helps to frame my face by making sure that all of those strands are popping and defined now that I'm done I'm actually going to split my hair up again just so that it makes it a bit easier for me because I'm going to diffuse my hair section by section. So I'm using a diffuser on a high speed, low heat, and I'm making sure I start at the roots. The roots take the longest to dry. And as you'll see on those damaged sections, again, I'm still using the diffuser to scrunch my hair upwards just to really make sure I'm encouraging it to curl and wave so it holds the style better. I've added a perm rod to that really straight section. And on the opposite side of my hair, it's a lot healthier. So I'm actually doing the opposite. I'm stretching the hair out again, just so that it doesn't shrink up as much and it lasts a bit longer, has a bit more hang time and movement. So I'm pulling it gently, not extremely taut, so it's not the tension method, but I'm pulling on it gently so that I can get a more stretched out, defined look. And I continue this all the way around my hair scrunching in the damaged sections and stretching out in the more tight sections. This is my finished wash and go. I have pretty much got every single hair type on my head. Like we have got some type one over here. Um, we've got type two over here. Some three, look at that. And some four at the back, you know. Not everyone can do that, so. <laughs> Don't hate me because you ain't me. But I will show you a couple close-ups so you can see um, the definition. That's what the back, the back right side is looking like. And you see this, this is what I mean when I say my whole hair is damaged. It's not a case of, oh, just one section. I have a lot of curls that look like this. Curly and then straight and then curly again. I have a lot of that going on um, throughout. This is what this side is looking like. I am, I guess, in terms of what I can be, I'm content with the fact that it's like, it, it's super tight and coily and then goes bigger and bigger. So it's, it kind of almost looks like I purposely did this, like a sort of style. So I'm, I'm content with that. I had, that was where the perm rod was to add a bit of curl to that section. This back section I didn't add any curls or perm rods to, I just scrunched it up. But that's what the definition is looking like around the left side and the back left section. But the bottom section has recovered quite well as well. I think this one is pretty successful too. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments down below. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you on the next one. Bye.